Music. For nearly 3,000 years, ancient Egypt existed as the preeminent civilization in the Mediterranean world, and today the country is home to many artifacts that connect this generation to over two years before a host of discoveries have been made in Egypt from long buried. Mummies to treasures that would leave you marveled. Join us as we unveil these fascinating discoveries that give us clues on the events of the ancient Egyptians number 15, the famous mummy, juice in July 2018. Egyptian scientists uncovered a black granite sarcophagus in Alexandria, Egypt. The Ministry of Antiquities announced later that the tomb probably dated back to the Toic era. Between 3530 BCE and had remained unopened since the tomb was open, opened amid several warnings that it may bring with it curses that may hurt mankind upon opening the team found that the tomb contained three skeletons a woman in her early twenties a man in his late thirties and a man in his early forties covered in a red fluid and sewage water further findings revealed that one of the males had a small hole in the back of his head the team originally thought it was an arrow wound but researchers now think it was a result of surgical intervention and and the person lived for some time after the drastic procedure also they detected small gold plates wrapped in elaborate artwork alongside the bodies assumed to be an indication that the corpses belonged to egyptian soldiers number 14. the b three-year-old lost golden city the famed egyptologist zahi hawas and his team discovered the lost golden city in 2021 they uncovered the city which was covered with sand near luxor home of the valley of of the kings the city is 3,000 years old, dates to the reign of Amen, Hotep Seku, and continued to be used by Tutankhamun and I, they began excavations. In September 2020, between the temples of Ramsey III and Amenhotep III D near Luxor, 300 miles south of the capital Cairo. After a while, they uncovered formations of mud bricks amazingly further. Excavation seven months later revealed several neighborhoods with complete walls, rooms filled with items the ancient people lived with, including a bakery with its ovens and storage. Pottery still intact, number 13 King. Tutankhamun's tomb on the 4th of November, 1922, a British Egyptologist, Howard, discovered the tomb of Tutankhamun, also known as the Boy King in the Valley of Kings. King Tut also referred to as the Boy King died as a teen and from the analysis of his remains he suffered from diverse health challenges as a result he used a cane to walk around further studies revealed that during his reign he pulled more of his time and energy into resurrecting egypt's traditional polytheistic religion which was neglected when his father akatan began the revolution that emphasized the primary of uton the most fascinating thing about king tutankhamun's tomb was his death mask which was made from over nine kilograms of solid gold his corpse was covered in resin soaked bandages and placed in three coffins one of the coffins was placed inside another a granite sarcophagus and four wooden shrines two of the three coffins were made of wood covered in gold plating while the inner part was made with sheets of gold studded with gems alongside over five thousand other artifacts number twelve rosetta stone the rosetta stone was discovered in july 1799 in the city of Rosetta, modern El, Rashid by French soldiers during Napoleon's invasion of Egypt, the stone, is a dark-coloured granodio right steely, inscribed with the same text in three. Scripts, Demoic hieroglyphic and Greek studies trace the stone's origin as far back as 196 BC and revealed that the words on it were a decree written by a council of priests that protected the rights of Pharaoh to my fifth who was just 13 years as of that time at the time of discovery only the greek language was known the remaining languages were translated using greek since the inscription communicated the same number 11 a geometric miracle tunnel in 2022 kathleen martinez and her team from the university of santo domingo in the dominican republic went on an excavation mission in a temple underneath the ancient city of Taposiris Magna on the Egyptian coast. While they were exploring, they uncovered a tunnel 43 feet underground and about six feet tall. They 
also discovered that this tunnel was built through 4,281 feet of sandstone and named the tunnel a geometric miracle tunnel. According to the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, the design is similar to Gris' tunnel of Eupolinos. And Kathleen believes that the tunnel is a clear indication that the lost tomb of the famous Queen Cleopatra VII was close. She believes that the tunnel will lead her and her team to the tomb because previous excavation in the area has unearthed some clues that suggest that the Queen's tomb is nearby. They also believe that the temple in Taposiris, Magna, was dedicated to the god Osiris and his queen goddess Isis, who had a strong association with Queen Cleopatra. To buttress this belief, coins bearing the name of the great Queen Cleopatra and that of Alexander the Great were found in the area alongside figurines of Isis No. 10, the 43000-year-old Met Jitu tomb researchers at the University of Warsaw's Polish Center of Mediterranean Archaeology discovered a tomb while excavating a dry moat that encircled the pyramid complex, not too far from the tomb of an Egyptian, high official, and Menef. They discovered that this tomb belonged to an Egyptian dignitary named Mitu, who was Pharaoh's secret handler. According to studies, he handled secret documents for Pharaoh, but died mysteriously about four, three hundred years ago due, due to how unexpectedly he died, the D. Artisans he hired to decorate his burial. Sight didn't have enough time to complete the design of sacrificial animals on the front of the tomb, which explained the incomplete design the research team found on the tomb. They also deduced that the presence of hieroglyphics on the tomb and the statement from the expedition team tell that the man also served as a priest and an inspector of the royal estate. Although the ancient artisans didn't finish their work on the tomb, the archaeologist all is strongly believe that Mitu was laid to rest in his tomb and are bent on unearthing the tomb interior to behold the burial chamber and possibly met Jets. Mummy number nine, the Great Pyramid of Khufu formal excavations of the Great Pyramid of Giza began in the 19th century, but a notable discovery was made in the 1830s when a British Egyptologist found laborers graffiti indicating that the pyramid belonged to Khufu. The pyramid is the largest of the three. Pyramids of Giza located on a rocky plateau on the west bank of the Nile River in northern Egypt alongside other pyramids. It is referred to as one of the seven wonders of the world and the last of the wonders still standing in excavation that was conducted on the site recently uncovered two boats buried near the Great Pyramid. But unfortunately, the king's remains weren't found for this reason 3D scanners and other non-in Invasive technologies have been used to explore the pyramid in the early 21st century. Unfortunately, in 2023, the discovery of a hidden corridor that may lead to the king's remains was announced number eight, the silver. King in 1939, Monty, an archaeologist, discovered the tomb of Susa Saiwana, pharaoh that ruled Egypt about 30000 years ago. He found this tomb in... Tanis a city on the Nile Delta and discovered that he was buried in a coffin made of silver. This archaeologist marveled because the coffin was different from others they found, which are made of gold aside from the silver. Characteristics of this coffin, the pharaoh was laid to rest wearing an outstanding gold burial mask because of these characteristics, the pharaoh was given the name the Silver King and that set him apart from the many other mummified bodies alongside the pharaohs remains some items were unearthed some of them include canopic jars which were used to store the pharaoh's organs and shoppy figurines which were to serve the king in the afterlife according to egyptian belief number seven the black goo the black goo inside the osiris shaft at giza and hundreds of mummified bodies discovered in egypt including the body of king tutankhamun were once a source of concern for researchers Historians and curious minds alike do to its reoccurrence and mummified bodies. Scientists decided to carry out an analysis on it to identify what it is and what its role was on the mummified bodies. Experts from the British Museum took more than 100 samples of the black goo from coffins and mummy cases in Egypt and analysed them. They conducted a form of chemical analysis known as gas. Chromatography mass spectrometry GCMs. And after the analysis, they discovered that the goo is made of a combination of 
plant oil animal fat tree resin beeswax. And bitumen, they also revealed that there's a possibility that there are other ingredients used as well, but were not detected because of degradation or evaporation since it was applied over. 2,000 years ago, it turned out the ancient Egyptians prepared the remains of elites with the black goo at different points in the burial process during the preparation of the dead bodies during the burial and on the top of the mummy case or coffin they believe that it would help them connect with god osiris who is associated with death and regeneration number six statue of the goddess socket a team of archaeologists led by herg saruan began excavation in, in an ancient king amenhotep 111 ferrari temple in 1998 and recently discovered fragments from about 27 statues of an Egyptian goddess called Sekhmet in an ancient king Amenhotep, 111's Ferrari, temple according to Mustafa Waziri of the Supreme Council of Antiquity ITs. The statues range in height with some measuring more than six feet and the actual height of some wasn't known because they suffered severe damage from water and Salt Arham Dorg said that the statues depict seat in different positions. Some statues depict her sitting on the throne while holding the symbol of life in her left hand or standing and holding a papyrus scepter. The most fascinating thing about the statue is that she wore a sun disc crowing her head with Eurus, a rearing cobra, a warning her forehead. These characteristics best explain the studies that describe her as one of the most powerful deities in Egyptian mythology. She is also described as the lion headed goddess of war and healing and the priests in her temples were specialists in the field of medicine surgery and arts linked to ritual and magic these new sets of seat statues make up the total number of over 280 segment statues found in the temple since excavation began at the site in 1998 number five a gold covered mummy in january 2023 a group of archaeologists discovered the mummified remains of a man named Hiashepis who lived circa 2300 BC while they were excavating tombs. In the ancient necropolis of Saqqara near Cairo the body was found in a sealed stone sarcophagus at the bottom of a 33T shaft and in addition to the gold around him he wore a band on his head and a bracelet on his chest showing that he was a no small man back in the day. Heaps arms and legs were wrapped separately perhaps to give the body a lifelike appearance and the head was painted with eyes a mouth and dark hair more striking however are the gold leaves that had been carefully applied to give the illusion of golden skin the jewelry that was found on him as well as the band on his chest depicts that he was a no small man back in the day number four two thousand mummies ram head in march this year archaeologists from new york university's institute for the study of the ancient world is sore unearthed over two zero 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 mummified ram skulls at the temple of ramsey two in the ancient city of abydos abydos in southern egypt these skulls were linked to the celebrity pharaoh called ramsey ii ramsey the great or amandia who died in 1213 bc ramsey the great constructed the temple during his 66 year rule and dedicated it to god osiris and his father seti one egypt's ministry of umtang tourism and antiquity said that although the temple isn't the burial site for the pharaoh. These ram skulls may have been a ritual offering to aid the pharaoh in the afterlife. Number three, a 4,500 year old chamber discovered inside Great Pyramid. Although the excavation of the Great Pyramid began as far back as 1880, a new chamber was discovered recently by the Scan Pyramids Project, an international program that uses scans to look at unexplored sections of the ancient structure the chamber is located on the northern side of the pyramid archaeologists revealed that the corridor measured 30 feet long and more than six feet wide but are yet to figure out what the chamber was used for in ancient times from their assessment they assumed that the chamber must have served a specific purpose since it couldn't be assessed from the outside the intriguing thing about this discovery is that that the new chamber is a hollow space large enough to accommodate several people also, there was no footprint or any evidence that suggests that the chamber has been seen by humans in the last 4,500 years. Number two, the puzzling Egypt ancient whale recently. Paleontologists in Egypt unearthed an uh, extinct species of whale that existed 41 million years ago. The team named the 
species told us rences after the egyptian boy king tutan and the w l rian protected area in egypt's fume oasis where it was found they researched further and discovered that the whale was eight feet long and its body mass was about 410 pounds also it was found that the whale was the smallest species of the basilosaurus ever discovered during an interview salem revealed that basilosaurus have fish-like characteristics such as a streamlined body a strong tail flippers and a tail fun he said that they had the last hind limbs visible enough to be recognized as legs but were not used for walking they probably used it for mating lots of research is ongoing to fully acquire the details of this ancient whale but in general unearthing it is indeed a remarkable discovery number one pyramid age papyri a team of archaeologists led by pierre t and gregory Murad made a stunning discovery in 2013 they discovered the oldest papyri that disclosed details of the great pyramid in a remote part of the egyptian desert a few miles inland from the Red Sea, they began their excavation in 2011, and after some time, they established that the cave served as a kind of boat storage depot during the fourth dynasty of the Old Kingdom about 4,600 years ago in 2013. Following further digging, they found the papyri. Some of the papyri are a few feet long and were intact as at the time of discovering. Interestingly, the words on the papyri were written in hieroglyphics as well as hieratic and were written by men who participated in the building of the great pyramid the papyri were deciphered and they disclosed the details of how the materials that were used for the building were transported and how the laborers fared the many artifacts found in egypt have helped us to connect with the ancient civilization and also to understand history to a very large extent making the theories we we've had over the years more substantial what do you think of these discoveries in what way have they helped your life let us know in the comment section